Today, dwelling approvals on the rise. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics, World Analytics Post, covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian flavour. The dwelling approvals data is quite noisy, but the release from the ABS today reported a stronger rise in approvals than might have been expected in November 2019. And I suspect that all of the media will be celebrating the rebound, particularly quoting the seasonally adjusted numbers. However, we will continue to report the trend series data as the seasonally adjusted data is just much more volatile. The trend estimates for total dwellings rose 0.8% in November and within that the trend estimate for private sector houses which were approved fell 0.3% while private sector dwellings excluding houses rose 2.9%. However, the trend estimate of the total value of building approvals fell 2.6% in November and has fallen for five months. And the value of residential buildings fell 0.7% and has fallen for nine months. And the value of non-residential buildings fell 5% and has fallen for four months. The trend estimate for the value of non-residential buildings approved fell 5% in November and has fallen for four months. Across the states, trend estimates for the total number of dwelling units approved in New South Wales rose 1.6% in November. The trend estimate for the number of private sector houses fell 3.4% in the month. In Victoria, the trend estimate for the total number of dwelling units approved rose 0.7% in November, while the trend estimate for the number of private sector houses rose 0.2%. The trend estimate for the total number of dwelling units approved in Queensland fell 0.4% in November while the trend estimate for the number of private sector houses rose 1.1%. And the trend estimate for the total number of dwelling units approved in South Australia rose 4.2% in November, and the trend estimate for the number of private sector houses rose 0.8% in November. And finally, the trend estimate for the total number of dwelling units approved in Western Australia fell 1.9% in November, while the trend estimate for the number of private sector houses rose 1.5% in November. But actually, much of the change can be traced simply to a rise in unit development approvals in New South Wales, and this is an extremely volatile and noisy series. Take that out, and the so-called good news is wafer thing. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.